tomorrow when there is Sharia in Egypt. What happens when the Israeli Mossad pays an Egyptian family to bring a little girl six years of age she's a child six years of age to the Sharia court for permission for nikah with a man who is 55 Sharia court will have to decide is it halal is it jaiz for a nikah to be conducted with a child a girl who is six years of age Sahih Bukhari says Sahih Bukhari that Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha said that Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam married me when I was six let's leave the consummation part we are concerned with marriage nikah if this is true then it becomes sunnah if this is true it becomes sunnah how many of you here in this masjid will be willing to follow the sunnah why are you so scared if it is a sunnah you should be proud to marry a six year old child is this all the reason we have is this, is this what Allah gave to us just five ringgits worth of intelligence. Huh? Which one of you will marry a six-year-old child? Which one? But no, you accept the hadith. Because it's Sahih Bukhari. Do we have the Islamic scholarship today? To be able to study and see whether this hadith is in conformity and harmony with the Quran or in conflict with the Quran and do we have the courage and the integrity today in Islamic scholarship when we recognize a hadith to be in conflict with the Quran to say the Quran must prevail not the hadith well I am saying to you this hadith is in conflict with the Quran oh yes and if you want to marry a girl who is six years of age then CNN will capture it and Al Jazeera and it will be broadcast on every television station in the world again and again and again and again and we Muslims become the laughing stock of the world. When I said this to Dr. Mahathir, he said to me, we are already the laughing stock of the world. That's the answer he gave to me. I said, Dr. Mahathir, can I quote you or not? He said, yes, you can quote me. That's not all. What will we do when the Israeli Mossad pays two people who are married, not to each other, to come before the Sharia court in Egypt and to confess to Zina. Hmm? The court will have to decide what is the Sharia punishment. And in the Hadith, it is stated, Sahih Bukhari, that the punishment for Zina if you are married is Rajam stoning to death okay so the court will have if it follows that hadith in Sahih Bukhari the court will have to pronounce Rajam this is going to come to Egypt tomorrow don't be surprised when it happens the Mossad is probably waiting for it and then when you stone these two people to death you will be sure to have CNN there and Al Jazeera there and they will record it and they'll play it over and over and over again in every single television station in the world we will not then be the laughing stock of mankind we'll be worse than that mankind will despise us 
Israel will win a propaganda victory against Islam unlike anything they've ever won before. Is this hadith in conflict with the Quran or is it in harmony with the Quran? Do we have the caliber of Islamic scholarship today to be able to recognize a fabricated hadith because it is in conflict with the Quran? This subject is called Naskh. We don't have the time to deal with it tonight, but I do have a lecture on my website and on YouTube entitled The Punishment for Adultery in the Religion of Abraham alayhi salam, in which I have argued the case that that hadith is fabricated. And the punishment for adultery, whether you are married or unmarried, in the Sharia which came to Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, is a public flogging. And so we ask the question, when we enforce the Sharia today, do we have that caliber of Islamic scholarship? We wish to be able to apply the Sharia in such a way that we will demonstrate its superiority over every rival system of law in the world. If you do not have 